Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how I did this makeup look. And it's sort of like a nude, smoky, everyday look. So if you want to know exactly how I did this look, then keep on watching. So let's get on the video. Okay. Let's get started. So first I like to hydrate my face with using this ultra repair cream and you just like you just want to take just a little bit in case your skin is like really dry and patchy you don't want to have any dry marks on your face because with the makeup you will look patchy and not good if you have like some redness or if you want to hide dark circles then you would get some like color corrector and I have the elf color corrector it comes like this as you can see I've used some of it So now I'm going to take this little tiny beauty blender and I'm just going to buff this out or dab it or whatever. So now I'm going to take my little e.l.f. foundation. This is like the oil free one and it has SPF so that's good to know. And I'm in the color sand. And you're just gonna tap that all over. Like, look at that. That's good. Matches my skin tone. Okay. Now that I got my foundation on, I'm going to go in with my elf concealer this is the shade fair comes with this handy dandy wand and i'm just gonna make some marks Pretty good. Okay. Now I'm going in with this CoverGirl concealer. It's the Ready Set Gorgeous. Not entirely sure what shade it is because it does not say on the bottle. But again, if you go to any drugstore, you can probably find this. So I'm just gonna go under where I put that other concealer just to brighten it up, just to give me some lightness. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna do the contour. So what I use for contour is I get my handy dandy Rimmel London, little three, sort of three thing, comes with the highlight, contour and blush. I'm, I usually start right up here where that little hair like dupes by your eye. And I just start there 
and then I just bring it right out. And then after I bring it out, I blend it. Now I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to contour my nose. So I just have the bigger tip heading up to my eyebrow and I just dab it on down, dab it up, and then I blend it out down so that I just don't have a dark line just on my nose. And I can blend it right out on my face. So I'm using the Beauty Professional little makeup palette and comes in these colors. As you can see, I've used this color a lot. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. So it does come with a brush and this is the brush. It's dual ended, a little tiny tip right here. And it has a nice little flat end. And so I'm first going to be using a different brush than what it actually comes with. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. crease, crease brush. So now I'm gonna go in with this. Oh, you can't see that. I'm gonna go in with this sort of like brown. I'm just gonna get a little bit on my brush. I'm just gonna tap off any excess. And I'm just gonna put it right in my crease. Just right there. And any excess from the crease I will bring out and yeah so now that I have that on there I'm going to take this wet and wild brush it's nice and fluffy and I'm just going to blend it out just so it's nice and it doesn't have a distinct line that it's there can just be nice and blended out just like that so now I'm going back in with the same elf crease brush and I'm taking this sort of dark brown and I'm just going to get a little tiny bit going to tap off any excess and I'm just putting it in my outer corner I'm just going to place that there swish it back and forth okay now that that is done I'm just going to take the tiniest amount of this black, just tapping it, just the little dot in it. Now I'm tapping off any excess that I had gotten from doing that. I'm just gonna put it right on there, right on the outer crease.
going to go in with this color right here just to give it some more depth some more sparkle and just pack that right on to the eyelid now we're gonna brush away all this setting powder and I'm taking this little handy dandy powder brush and I am just going to sweep it away sweep it back sweep it away so there are my brows nice and simple So, now that that is done, we will go back to our eyes, and I'm going, going to be using the brush that it comes with, a little flat end but fluffy top, and I'm going to be taking our light shade, I'm just going to get some on the brush, again. Tap off any excess and let's put it right near our waterline. Now we're going to go in with our dark brown shade. I'm going to get a little bit on my brush and I'm just going to put that right there. Okay, now we're going to go back in with our wet and wild brush and just fluff it out, blend it, fluff it, whatever. So now I'm going to be using my e.l.f. crease brush and I'm using this sort of beat up light shade right now. I'm using that for my inner corners just so I can brighten up my eye. Now I'm taking that same color, very tiny amount, and I'm putting it right underneath my brow bone. So I can give that some definition. So it doesn't just look flat, and so that it could actually look like my brow actually looks like this. Now for mascara, I'm using this Better Than Sex Mascara. Now this isn't actually the full size mascara, it's just a little trial size, probably costs around like $10, $15. And so if you just want to try it out, just go to your local Ulta or Sephora and ask if they have the trial size of Better Than Sex Mascara. And if they do, then get it. because then you can try out the mascara and if you don't like it then you're not wasting any money or any products me personally i'm gonna go in with the revlon blush because that's a nice little nude sort of pinky color and i'm taking my echo tools or eco tools blush brush and i'm just swishing back and forth and tap off any excess and you're just gonna lightly tap on any blush I'm going to be using the the elf moonlight pearls and so I'm going to be using this elf pointed foundation brush sort of like that that's the highlight it's very nice very good if you're just like want a nice little glow and it's also very affordable like I've said probably a million times in this video I almost said episode but this is a video not an episode we are not a TV show and so now we got to do my lips do my entire lips with this lip liner and since I need a mirror close to me, I'm going to use the L'Oreal mirror. 
that comes with the blush and I'm just gonna line my lips and then color them in. Okay, so that is the lipstick. Sorry. My nose is a little bit runny today. So that's the look and I I think just a little bit I'll highlight. I'm using the same brush that I used to highlight with just to give it more of a lighter color. And this is the look. I hope you liked this video. I really had fun and I enjoyed making this look. And if you do create this look or try, then please like post it on social media, Instagram or Twitter and tag me in it and I will both retweet, comment and like it. Also, I might make a video of like introducing me into like who I am or whatever, like a Q&A. So if you want me to do that, like this video and comment down below. And I will link my Twitter and my Instagram and my Snapchat down below. So you can both follow me on Instagram, uh, follow me on Twitter, and on Snapchat, I might post little behind the scenes, little video clips, so you can get sneak peeks before I actually upload anything. And so, it, ooh, reckon everything still. So, if you want me to make a Q&A video, then comment down any questions, or you can head over to my Twitter and I will post sort of any any sort of questions that you might have. You can tag on a little comment. Or, I don't know how to speak, you know, like if I post something then you can just comment any questions down below. Then I will make that video and yeah. If you want to see more videos of that, please subscribe below. It's the big red button. And if you want to know every time that I post, hit the little notification bell and you will be notified whenever I post new things. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!